Well, there are growing bipartisan calls on Capitol Hill for President Biden to address the nation about the recent rash of aerial objects that have been shot down by U.S. fighter jets. This comes after four high altitude objects were shot down over U.S. airspace. The search to recover that debris from those objects is still underway. Right now, the leading explanation is they could have been balloons used for commercial purposes, such as weather balloons. Well, tonight our meteorologist Jorge Torres is breaking down what weather balloons do and how they're different from the Chinese spy balloon shot down 10 days ago. The talk around the country is that of spy balloons and unidentified flying objects. But what you may not know is that there are balloons like these that are launched across the country gathering important weather information every single day. Twice a day, weather balloons nationwide are released at the exact same time with an instrument attached called a radio sonde, providing valuable data for meteorologists to make forecast. These balloons are different than the one suspected of being used by China to spy that was spotted over American airspace in late January and early February. For one thing, the size difference is impressive. Weather balloons can expand to as much as 20 feet in diameter, which is not easily visible at higher altitudes, whereas the alleged spy balloon was 200 feet tall, according to U.S. officials, and could be seen from the ground. Another difference? Flight time. While the Chinese balloon floated overhead for at least several days, weather balloon flights only last for a couple of hours before eventually popping. That leads into difference number three, flight altitude. Where the balloons can rise up to over 100,000 feet before popping due to the falling air pressure. The balloon coming from China flew around 60,000 feet during its trek before being shot down by the U.S. military off the Carolina coast. Of the 92 locations that do weather balloon launches daily, two are here in Arizona, Flag 7 Tucson, and during the monsoon season, Phoenix is included in those launches. In Phoenix, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.